What's up, YouTube? We're back. It's your boy, Mad Stacker. And we're here because I can't stop opening these boxes. Hey, guys. I feel like I'm saying that all different kinds of ways. But I've had a lot of boxes to open lately. I did get behind, but I also got a little nuts ordering. You've heard me say it a couple times now. I, uh... There was a lot of stuff that came up at the same time that was available that hadn't been available and I wanted to make sure I got a hold of some. So the week before the dip, I probably picked up, I don't know, 40 ounces worth of different random stuff. Here is another part of that week. I don't 100% know what's inside this box. I do know that it is way too easy to break into an Atmec box, as you just saw, without breaking the seal or anything. And I'm going to keep saying that every time I open an Atmec bo box until they fix it. That's just the way that's going to be. Alright, so. Looks like I got some more of these Archaeoparatic... You know what I'm saying. You know... Let's see if these ones look as bad as the other ones did. These ones actually look a little bit better. Still not perfect. I feel like if I'm buying something that's in a capsule, in a bag, in another bag with bubble wrap in a box, it should be a flawless. I don't mean like microscopically flawless, but there shouldn't be any noticeable issues. So this is the... Joe Cool, 50th anniversary, one ounce silver. Very first time I've had any of these. Uh, peanuts, I know everybody's been all the rage. I haven't gotten any of them. One, I don't do colored coins. And two, I don't really care to pay extra for something in a, uh, like a tamper-proof packaging. I feel like most of these are in tamper-proof stuff. And uh, this was the first time I saw these not in a tamper-proof. And I'm not saying they haven't been available. I'm just saying I don't get to catch a lot of this stuff. Um, but this time I did. So I definitely snagged some. One for me and the rest for y'all. I don't know why. I feel like I bought several different times. Like I, I did that with the with the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. I bought them twice. Now I've done it with these uh, birds from the Congo. Uh, I don't know why I did that, but I did it again. Oops, I did it again. Yep, yeah, that was Brittany. I started this. <laughs> I shouldn't say that on a video. I started to say something really funny. Uh, but that's how I like my martinis, like extra, extra dirty. And we got a couple of Tetris pieces. So those are pretty cool. Now I won't keep either one of these because as I just told y'all, I don't do colored coins, y'all. It's not my thing, but I do think these are awesome. I grew up playing Tetris. I was actually pretty decent at it. Uh, and I think these are really cool. I'll put mintages on these if they have them. And I will also give you the mintage on this again, even though I've probably done it already. And I will definitely give you the mintage on the Joe Cool, because out of all this stuff, this is the one I'm keeping. And this Joe Cool is going in my stack. And you know, once it goes in my stack, it never goes back. So that's my very first Peanuts coin after all the craze, y'all. And that right there says Joe Cool, 50th anniversary. That is awesome. So is that this guy's name? Is Joe Cool? I thought it was Snoopy. Who's Joe Cool? 2021 Peanuts Worldwide LLC. One ounce, three nines, fine silver. 2021 Peanuts Worldwide. So this is a round, not a coin, I guess. That is, uh, that is what it appears to be. 
I guess I thought these were coins. And I'm assuming the Tetris must be uh, just rounds as well. I love that push start. A little up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, BA, select, start. What y'all know about that Contra? Huh? Now, somebody told me that these were stickers and not paint. And if that's the case, I think that's just silly. But people love them. So who am I to say what to love and what not to love? All right, guys. Thanks for coming to hang out today. This is officially going in the stack. Uh, let's see. It's probably uh, Thursday. So I hope you'll come join us tonight in the Madhouse. And... Uh, Seems like a pretty regular thing. When I'm done with the rolls on Thursdays, I go join Oregon Stacker and the boys uh, from the Sunday auction crew and, and typically jump in there and get a couple items done. Now, last Thursday, for those of you that were there, I actually took over the Thursday and Sunday auction because Oregon was out traveling, and that was a really fun time. So looking forward to going over there tonight because it's so much better when somebody else is doing all the work. I'm just playing Oregon. You do great. I appreciate everything you do. And y'all come hang out with us and do not worry about fitting in because we are all mad here.